Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this really beautiful, dark and spooky spider queen design that is perfect for Halloween. Also, I have to apologize. I cut out a lot of the footage of me doing this look because my hand was covering it up mostly the entire time. So watch for the end of the video. There'll be a detailed explanation that'll go over all the strokes that I did and you'll be able to see it perfectly. For the placement of the spider, I decided to have it off-centered and with the bottom legs framing her eye to give it a really unique and different look, and that way it brings the shadow of the bottom leg right through her eye, and I loved that look. When doing new designs, try to play with placement and don't always put the main object directly in the center of the forehead. Move it around the face and see how that affects each design and it will give everything a different and unique look and really expand your face painting abilities. I also tried to give a different look to my web because how many times have we seen a spider and a spider web together on a face painting? Tons of times. So I just tried to make this as different as possible. I overlapped my lines and curved them and put in swirls. It gave it a scroll-like effect and almost made them look like they were blowing in the wind, which turned out to be a really beautiful effect. When I first started doing it, this is the first time I've done my um, webs this way, I wasn't sure about it, um, but then after after I was finished, I think I'm always gonna do my webs this way. It just turned out really pretty. For the spider on the mouth, make sure you only do half the body and you're just gonna fill in with black and then blot in purple and then you can use your finger to uh, further blend it if you want. But it's a little more challenging on the lips just because you're working with different dimensions um, and your lines could be squiggly. So take your time, do it carefully. There's no real rhyme or reason to where you put the legs. Just have them in all different directions, overlap them. It's pretty easy. And also I recommend filling in the lips first. I had forgotten to do that, which is why I'm doing it now. And of course, add your shadows. I'm gonna be giving detailed instructions on how to do all this at the end of the video. And when you're shading things in, even on the lips, you can use shadows. It doesn't have to be paint. I find shadows a little easier to work with sometimes. I also decided to add the shadows to my webs to give them a more dimensional look. And it really added to the whole piece. And that's it. You can finish it off with a beautiful smoky eye. And it just creates a beautiful, beautiful look. And I think I might be wearing this for Halloween this year. We'll see. Okay, so on with a more detailed explanation. You're gonna start with drawing a circle and then a little half circle on top of that. And I like to put a little point at the bottom. Then take your purple and add that to the center you could swirl your brush around or tap it with your finger to blend. The legs are simply a series of teardrops. You're gonna press your brush, pull up to a point, and each leg will have three segments. So press and pull, press and pull, press and pull. Make sure that the end of your legs are a turned around teardrop so it ends in a point like that. To give it the 3D effect, you're gonna wanna have your legs going all different directions. You need to have some of them overlapping each other. That's what's really gonna give it the 3D effect. So as you can see here, I'm gonna overlap these two legs to make it look like the legs are walking over each other. Also, make sure some of the legs are bending back on themselves. For the shadow, just take black, water it down with water like you see here until you get a very, very thin um, black paint. And touch the end of your leg and pull in towards the center of the spider. So touch and pull in and then add a drop shadow at the very bottom of the spider like so. The highlights are gonna really help everything to stand out and to really pop, so just add some highlights to each segment with the concentration of your highlight being at the joints. So you're gonna press and pull at each joint and you could even go over it a second time at the very tip of the joints to bring it out even further. Add a few highlights on the body and that's all for the spider. For the web, just 
lightly make different flowing strokes and then wherever you can connect them. It seems like an odd way to do a spider web and it might be unnatural at first, but just put a U wherever you can think to put one and it'll turn into a really beautiful lacy looking blowing in the wind web. Now for the shadow, as you see, I'm overlapping the shadow on top of some of the web pieces to make it look like some of the web is on top of other parts of the web. So just decide what pieces you wanna be on top and draw it over. And that is it. That's how you get the beautiful spider and web. I hope you guys liked it. If you haven't done so already, like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below, as well as all the products I used in this video and where you can buy them.